Hello, my name is Elijah Montoya and I attend Clearfield High School in Utah. First and foremost, class of 2020, the moment we have all been waiting for our entire school careers is here. We made it, finally. This year has been a roller coaster for many of us, but in the face of unprecedented obstacles, we made it happen. We have worked so hard all year long and throughout our school careers. Second, I would like to take the time to acknowledge all of the hard work we have put into Latinos in action. Be amazed and take a moment to think back on all that you have done. We have fulfilled our roles as mentors, leaders, and more. We have made a meaningful impact on the lives of the children we have tutored. Because of our service to them, we have become better versions of ourselves. Because we, accept, we have accepted the opportunity to serve, we can look back at all those accomplishments and be proud of the lasting difference we made. We have displayed and accomplished the four pillars of LIA, personal assets, excellence in education, leadership and service by dedicating ourselves to the Latinos in Action program. Our participation in LIA shows that we can organize, mobilize, serve, manage, communicate, excel, and inspire. These are incredible skills and accomplishments that will help us continue to make it happen in our adult lives. I would like to take the moment to share what LIA means to me. I've been a part of LIA since eighth grade and I'm truly honored and blessed to have, been, to have been involved throughout most of my formative years. LIA has set the tone for my accomplishments in school and will continue to guide me in my accomplishments for the rest of my life. For that, I would like to thank all of my teachers for always being my motivation. I also thank Dr. Enriquez for building this program from the ground up. I'm also grateful to Mr. Kane for being the best counselor I could ever ask for. I want to acknowledge and show gratitude for my teachers and my counselor for guiding me through my struggles and being understanding with my complicated work and school schedules. Finally, I'd like to address how admirable we all are coming together here today. As Latinos, we are often marginalized and underestimated, yet here we are. It is sometimes difficult to be a part of a community where we feel that we are not welcome. Yet, we are being here, we are being honored today as the graduating class of 2020. You have overcome all odds that are against you. So be proud and never allow anyone to doubt your capabilities. You made it, just know that you earned this. You made this happen. You are amazing, we are amazing. For me, my most treasured memory will be standing here before you today giving this speech. So thank you to everyone who has believed in me from the very beginning. And finally, to the graduating class of 2020, congratulations on all of your hard work. This is it. Because we embrace Latinos in action, we are better prepared for our futures and we are ready to proudly embrace what comes next. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2020. I'm Christian Aristotle, graduating senior at St. Alonis High School. Go Chiefs! And I'm from the Sunshine State. Y'all should know what state I'm talking about. The best of the best. Florida, of course. Growing up in Haiti wasn't always fun for me. When it comes to school, I had to make sure I could do any type of math problems, any of my lessons worth for. If I didn't, I already knew what was waiting for me. I would get a whooping at school for not knowing how to solve my problems or not knowing my lessons. And I would get a whooping from my brother for bringing home a zero. I remember this one time. I had to solve this math problem. I can't remember what the question was, but mind you, I'm a kid, right? Eight years old. My teacher was standing right next to me. I was intimidated by this man. I was sweating trying to figure this out. And he was holding on to his precious belt. If I take too long, I would get hit. If I mess up, I would get hit. And I had to do it. There was no okay, you can do it, go sit down. Every time he hit me, he was like, thank you, In my mind, I'm like, how am I supposed to think when you're hitting me every 10 seconds? I was desperate and hangry. Then I finally did it somehow. That's when he said something that I would never forget. He said, see, you did it. I knew you could do it. You just have to dig deeper. Bottom line is, when things go wrong, don't go with them. Because you know more than you're expressing. And the pain, the pain is never to keep you down, but to help you strike harder and do better. You were not ready for most of the things that happened to you, but somehow, somehow you got through them. For many of us, nobody can get us anything. We had to work extremely hard for it. Some of us had a job of two during high school. We were working extremely hard because we wanted to make it. Not just for ourselves, but for mama or dad or grandpa or grandma or whatever you had. And some of us did it for those that are no longer with us. And some of us did it because that lady said we wouldn't make it. Class of 2020, I want you to repeat after me. 
I did it. I did it. Yes, you did. You've put in the hard work, time, and effort into achieving this goal. And trust me on that, coronavirus can't stop this. Be proud of your achievements. That's a pretty amazing achievement. And I know for sure, those who support you are extremely proud of you. Matter of fact, mama, I love you. And this one, this one was for you. But what now? What now, that's 2020? It was up to you, you made it happen, but what now? You need to strive higher, find your passion. What do you want to be? How are you going to contribute to your family and your community? And if your dream job is working at a fast food restaurant, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. My question for you is, are you going to stay on the grub or are you going to move up? Move up, become a shift manager. Move up and become a store manager. Or even better, become a store owner. And for those that are striving to become lawyers, doctors, nurses, architects, I need you to know that giving up isn't an option. No, it's not. You won't always get what you want in life, but you need to make the best out of what you have. Most of us will fail at some point. We will get hurt. We will lose friends. There will be times when we won't be so confident, but we won't give up and we won't lose. But we will get up and strike again till we make it. Because we are stronger than we think, stronger than they think. Class of 2020, we've endured so much. We couldn't walk across the stage, grab bachelor's canceled, and some of us were stuck at home for weeks. But one thing we need to remember is, history will not change us, but we will change history. Because we are the class of 2020, we are the future, we are our parents' greatest blessing, and they will remember us. Like Florida a and University always says, class of 2020, we will strike, we will strike, and we will strike again. I'd like to say thank you to my mom, my family, my friends, and my teachers. Especially to Miss Cody, Miss Piper, and Miss Walters. They all believed in me. I'm Christian Aristotle. And I am a proud 2020 graduate. Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. And this is how it feels. Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Jose Enriquez. I just want to say to you, felicidades. You made it. This is your moment. Take it in. The years of hard work have finally paid off. You are a high school graduate. As you close this chapter in your life and move on to bigger and better things, I want you to always remember three things. I know you know what I'm gonna say. So say it with me. Latinos have talent. Latinos are brilliant. And Latinos are powerful. Now, first of all, you're all talented. You really are. If you already know that, now is the time to run with it. Keep painting, keep coding, keep researching, keep cooking, keep dancing. If you're still discovering your talents, keep looking. Try new things. Don't be afraid to fail because failure will only make you stronger. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. My junior year in high school, I was in a championship of wrestling. I was a wrestler and that championship was important. I got to the finals, I failed, I lost, but it still put me into the next finals. I got to the second finals and the same guy beat me in the finals. I failed again. But before the third state finals, my coach sat me down and said, let's learn from this failure. Let's do better, let's work harder, let's think from a different angle. And so he had me train differently. So when we got to the state finals and I got to the finals, guess who was on the other side? It was the same guy and I had trained for him and I had prepared myself. So when the state finals went, I won in the state finals where it counted the most. The third time was a charm for me, but I used my failure to move forward and to grow from it. And so I want you to always think failure is sometimes good if you use it right and you grow from it. Secondly, you guys are brilliant. I've had the privilege of meeting with many of you guys, speaking with you, looking you right in the eyes, and I just gotta say, you're brilliant. Um, and you don't give yourself enough credit. Um, Natalie Swaste, 
our Jose Ceballos scholarship winner from Jerome High School. Brilliant. And the community does so much. Your teachers see how brilliant you are. Your parents see how brilliant you are. Me and all of us in LIA see how brilliant you are. You need to see that in yourself and see it in yourself all the time because now it's the time for the world to see it. Just how brilliant you really are. Jose Antonio Tejerino said, you are not lucky to be here. The world needs your perspective now more than ever. They are actually lucky to have you. Remember that. And, at li and, and lastly, you're all powerful. And let me just say this, you're part of Generation Z. You were born into a world with a lot of problems. You've been raised in the middle of wars, disasters, shootings, violence. Maybe your parents and yourself, grandparents, came here to escape that as well. And now you're graduating in the middle of a global pandemic. But let me tell you something. The strongest trees, they don't grow because they were planted in a nice little spot or with the most expensive soil. Nah, the strongest and the stronger the wind, the stronger that tree is. And right now, you're in the middle of a storm, but this will only make you stronger. Remember that. During your time in LIA, you've strengthened your raices and your roots with a lot of things that have happened. Ahora vas a salir al mundo y estás listo. It's been an honor to have you as Latinos in Action students. Wherever you go from here, wherever life takes you, see this pen? Espero que lleves tu familia and tu corazón. We will always be rooting for you. We will always be here for you. Congratulations, felicidades to you, the class of 2020.